Yup, saw it coming. Hi guys, how are you? Your boy Al is here with Spice and Wolf episode 9 review so let's go. At first we see Lawrence chats with Jacob from Rubenhagen's trading house. Jacob shares that merchants avoid Nora due to her church affiliation. He then asks about the certificate Lawrence is working on, which is for the Ramirio Trading Company. Jacob hands Lawrence the certificate, noting that the Rowan Merchant Association is under St. Lombardo's protection. Lawrence promises to buy Jacob alcohol once his deal is completed. Later, Lawrence regroups with Hollow and they go for a stroll. Hollow mentions she overheard his conversation with Jacob. I didn't quite understand why Jacob was telling Lawrence to cut ties with Hala when Jacob didn't even meet her. I mean I know it's a medieval setting, but Jacob looks to be fairly broad-minded, so I found it to be a bit weird. We see Hala is upset with Lawrence and Jacob's comment about her being a mere investment. Lawrence assures her he didn't mean it crudely, and Hala thanks him for his sincerity. Hala then asks Lawrence to show his sincerity by buying something for her, leading to a playful back and forth. They hold hands and head off together. Meanwhile, Nora greets the church's priest and asks if she can take the sheep to a safer location, which he approves. Later, Lawrence and Hollow discuss Lawrence's good mood, the concept of debt, and his plans to sell goods to the Ramirio Trading Company. As they arrive at the Ramirio Trading Company, Hollow senses something is amiss. The Nora thing confirms that some members of the church abuse their powers at the very least, and this kinda implies that our duo will have a very tough time dealing with the church when they bump heads. Also the way Hollow tried to trick Lawrence was hilarious. Next we see Lawrence and Hollow enter the building and speak with an official. Lawrence asks several questions and senses it's not a good time to negotiate. Before they leave, the official stops them, informing Lawrence that the Lap Perrin Trading Company mentioned he would be selling armor there. The official reveals that Lap Perrin Trading Company transferred Lawrence's debt to the Ramirio Trading Company and that the armor Lawrence bought is now worthless due to a price drop, meaning Lawrence owes the Ramirio Trading Company a significant amount. The official declares Lawrence is broke, and Lawrence realizes he's been tricked. Lawrence then speaks with Mr. Ramirio, the head of Ramirio Trading Company, who demands payment, threatening consequences if Lawrence doesn't comply. Lawrence accepts and is given two days to meet the deadline. He assures Ramirio he'll manage it somehow. Lawrence then regroups with Hollow and informs her of their dire situation. At first I thought Lawrence being so carefree was due to slightly bad writing, but after giving it some thoughts I realized that he was intentionally written in such a way so that the audience can understand what can happen if someone is careless. I honestly love this sort of writing. Moving on we see Lawrence insists they can't flee and must handle the situation differently. Hollow promises to help, and Lawrence reminds her of his plan to take her to the north. However, he mentions he might need her to rescue him at some point. He asks Hollow to wait at the inn while he visits the Rowan Merchant Association for assistance. Despite his reluctance, Hollow convinces Lawrence to bring her along. They visit Jacob, and Lawrence introduces Hollow to him. Lawrence and Jacob then discuss the Lap Perrin Trading Company and Ramirio Trading Company debacle, with Lawrence admitting he got greedy and should have been more cautious with the Lap Perrin Trading Company deal. Returning those armors and asking for refunds would be the most logical thing to do, but I'm guessing Lawrence can't do that because his debt got transferred to another company or maybe he made a no-refund deal. Also it was nice to see how worried Hollow got for Lawrence. Then we see Jacob tell Lawrence that the Rowan Merchant Association would help if his situation involved robbery, sickness, or injury, but understands this case is different. He has Lawrence confirm the consequences of missing the deadline, stating he doesn't want Lawrence to endure harsh labor but believes sins must be punished. Jacob promises support without immediate detention and wishes Lawrence luck, reminding him that some businesses have loopholes. Lawrence vows to repay the money and leaves the Rowan Merchant Association with Hollow. During their walk, Lawrence reveals his plan to tackle the debt by incurring another debt. He visits another location and asks an official for cash, but the official explains their business is tight on funds. 
Getting fooled is probably the worst thing that can happen to a merchant, so I think Jacob is right, and he is being pretty fair by treating Lawrence like the rest of the members. Also this part shows that even if you help someone, they might not return the favor when the time comes. At the end we see Lawrence try several locations without success. Eventually, he finds a place willing to give him money, but the man refuses when he sees Lawrence begging with a woman. Lawrence leaves, and Hollow tries to comfort him. Frustrated, Lawrence blames Hollow for his troubles, causing her to leave for the upset. Lawrence is left grieving. Lawrence saying something bad out of sheer frustration in such a situation is quite understandable. I mean most people would act the same way if not worse, and I think Hollow left just to give him some space. Also this is a good portrayal of how girls used to be treated very poorly in the medieval era. Overall this was a great episode that showed the dark side of trading and human nature. Nevertheless, thanks for watching everyone. If you like my video then check out some of my other videos. Also don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel or leave a comment if you want to say something, you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram or check out my Facebook page, links are given in the description until then see ya.